of black holes, those teaching. I present to you, Dr. Bodies.
was not easy. The program was extremely demanding, and I soon discovered that you needed to be really good at two things to study black holes. Differential geometry and programming. Well, guess which ones I was really bad at. And the temptation of going back to medical physics, something that I knew I was good at, was always there. But I continued. I struggled. I worked hard. And it took sleepless nights, and being hungry sometimes, and the better part of my hair. <laughs> but sometimes it also took looking at the ugly side of society. Uh, it took listening to comments. It took listening to comments such as, are you planning on having children? Because that was the way that professors would assess if it was worth investing their time on me. It took really clenching my teeth and not saying anything when I overheard the gurus in the field compliment me with a phrase, she's as good as a man. And it took being outraged and humiliated when a scholarship program asked me for a pregnancy test. And I wish I had been more outspoken about these things back then, but I wasn't. And I leave it to the next generation of women to be bolder and louder when I wasn't. In the end, I did get my PhD. November 2013, I became, I became a doctor in physics. And against every recommendation, I took a teaching job. For me, it was the best opportunity in the world. I missed teaching a lot. And I thought, if I want to become a, a university professor, the best way to do it is by actually teaching. No? No. Wrong answer. Everybody thought I was downright insane. And they would say things like, Says, first of all, you're wasting your time. This is going to get you nowhere. You should be focusing on your production. How on earth do you think you're going to become a college professor by doing this? And my personal favorite, I did not invest years training you so you could teach teenagers how to take derivatives. Because apparently, there is a geodesic to becoming a professor. And the geodesic is the following. Get your PhD. Do a postdoc. Do another postdoc. Do another postdoc. Until the university hires you because they think your research production is awesome. And once you're hired, make sure you don't teach too much because that's a waste of time and you need time for your research. And I didn't want to go that way. I, I wanted to teach for real. And I wanted to teach in an exciting way. And I wanted people to fall in love with science in the same way that I did. So I continued teaching. And I believed that this was what was going to get me. And time passed by and nothing happened. And things were not going my way. And I started second guessing myself. And I started thinking that everybody else had been right. And that I had just blown the chance of reaching my dream out of being stubborn and childish and being naive and idealistic. And I went to some really dark places. I didn't want to touch my research because it made me feel bad. And I wouldn't even go near my own dissertation. I just couldn't. I was constantly depressed because I thought everybody else had been right. In the end, it was my students who saved me. Because looking at their constant enthusiasm made me realize that passion was still there. I never lost my love for black holes. The morning that they announced that gravitational waves had been detected because of the collision of two black holes, I cried. I was so happy. And I decided to be brave. I told myself, that whatever people had told me, all those horrible comments did not come from a place of hate. They actually came from a place of fear, of concern, of love even. Because you see, the problem is that people only know which path they took to 
get to their own version of success. They didn't know anything else. They thought that their path was the only way. And they worried that if, if I didn't follow their way, I wouldn't achieve my dream. But I just couldn't believe that. I did not take the geodesic. I did not take the path of least resistance. I believe that if I taught to the best of my abilities, and I continue to share my love for black holes with everybody else, somehow, somewhere, I would find my place. And I did. In 2017, I became a professor. And it made me realize that every path is different. And every version of success is different. Now, I get to teach with every ounce of gratitude that I have. And I have a renewed joy for my own research. And I continue to share my love of black, hole, of black holes with the world. And believe me, my nine-year-old self has never been happier.